Well, Robert Goddard was very systematic in his approach to asking the question, how do we reach space? How do we get into Earth orbit? How do we go to the moon and move beyond? And before him, most people were not that systematic. I mean, he went through his notebooks from the first part of the 20th century are fascinating to read because he talks about, well, maybe we could build something that uses atomic energy. He's thinking about that. Maybe we can shoot somebody out of a cannon like Jules Verne did in his novels. None of those worked. They weren't real. He finally hit upon the possibility of a chemically propelled rocket, a reaction device that would be able to reach into, as he called it, extreme altitudes, into orbit to the moon. And he pursued that technology for the rest of his life.